Welcome friends. The a scheme that we are going to discuss now is Zoom 1 extension scheme. That's in short form is written as that one X scheme. This scheme is intended for use with an auto close facility or where no communication channel is available or the channel has failed. Thus it may use on radial distribution feeders or on interconnected lines as a fee fallback when no communication channel is available for example due to maintenance of temporary fault the zone 1 elements of the distance relay have two settings one is set to cover 80% of the protected line length as in the basic distance scheme the other known as extended zone 1 or Z1X is set to overreach the protected line a setting of 120% of the protected line being common. The zone 1 reach is normally controlled by Z1X settings and is reset to basic zone 1 settings when a command from outer close release is received. So this is basic uh, function of zoom one extension. Um, in this scheme, you have seen that uh, zoom one is extended up to 120 percent in at first attempt. When auto recloser is doing reclosing, it is written back to 80 percent. So this scheme is useful where you don't have any communication scheme available and you still want the fast tripping so the priority is fast tripping and system stability is the first priority here so this scheme is used on occurrence of fault at any point within Z1X reach the relay operates in zone 1 time trips the circuit breaker and initiate auto recloser the zone 1 reach of distance relay is also reset to the basic value of 80% prior to the auto close closing pulse being applied to the breaker. So zone 1 is always extended in the normal healthy condition to 120% and when relay trips and auto recloser functions then after that auto recloser send a pulse to the relay and it is resetting zone 1 x to zone 1 for example 120 percent back to 80 percent so if the fault persists then in the second attempt relay will work as a normal graded zone that we have understood before this could also occur when the auto recloser facility is out of service reversion to z1x reach setting occurs only at the end of the reclaim time for interconnected lines, the Z1X scheme is established automatically or manually upon loss of communication channel by selection of appropriate relay setting, setting group in a numerical relay. So there is a possibility that we might be using permissive overreach and drift transfer trip scheme when the channel is healthy and when the channel is failed, we can select our extension scheme in that case. So this is uh, this is the another option. This is another facility that is available if even the communication scheme is failed and still we want to do the fast tripping and we want to implement the communication scheme. The option is X Zone One Extension Scheme. If the fault is transient, the trip circuit breaker will reclose successfully but otherwise further tripping during the reclaim time is subject to the discrimination obtained with normal zone 1 and zone 2 settings so in, at the first time for example for example we consider a protection scheme in which we apply permissive overage transfer trip scheme but if the communication fail input is energized we have set the settings that in that case we want to enable the zoom 1 extension scheme and if the fault appear and reclose 
circuit breaker or uh, is reclosed by the auto reclose and after the reclaim time it will and if our reclosing is successful then zone 1 x again will be enabled and if reclosing is not successful in that case z1 x will be disabled and if and the tripping again might be done by graded zone protection scheme so this is the example that if again let me explain in more clear way if there is a for for example if the communication scheme is failed or we said uh, we don't have communication scheme and we are doing zone 1 extension and when there is a fault in the first attempt relay will trip in z1 x and auto closer will operate and in the reclaim time when the reclaim time is uh, running means uh, reclaim time is a time after, when after passing this time the, the the breaker is considered to be closed successfully and this time the fault occur again during this time the z1x will be disabled or z1x will be switched back to zone 1 and the relay will behave like a normal carrot protection zone 1 and zone 2 the disadvantage of zone 1 extension scheme is that external fault within the z1 reach x reach of the relay in tripping of circuit breaker external to fault section increasing the amount of breaker maintenance needed and need needless transient loss of supply to some consumer this is illustrated in figure 12.3a for a single circuit where three circuit breaker operates in figure 12.3b for a double circuit line where five circuit breakers operate so let's see this example also So here uh, you can see the example for example there is a fault here in 120% of the this is station A, this is station B, this is station C. The zone 1 is up to 80% between station A and B and zone 2 is 120% of station B, line B and C. Okay if zone 1 extension is enabled in this case if there is a fault uh, less than 20% on the line B and C in that case the B will trip immediately at the same time you will see the A will also trip so in this case uh, the two breakers the breaker A will trip and which is not required so it will increase the instability in the system so if it is a double line for example you consider this line so you will see if there is a fault here so in this case uh, this breaker will trip unnecessarily it should not trip in but it because it's soon one extension is enabled and there is no communication media so this will trip you can say indiscriminate and also z1 you can see in this direction it will also trip indiscriminate just seeing the fault in zoom extension at the same time this d also it will see should see the fault in in extension so this will be the mall dripping uh, mall operation because of zoom one extension so this is the little explanation So this is the diagram that you can see the station A, the station B, uh, Z normal zone is Z1A up to 80% and extension zone is up to uh, 120%. So this is for station A, for station B, you can see in the same way zone 1 is 80% and extension is 120%. So here you can see how the trip is released if there is a fault in zone 2 there is a tripping immediately and if there is a fault in zone 1 extension and there is no 
auto recloser reset zone extension auto recloser reset zone extension is not available in that case also tripping is instantaneous so this is the simplified logic for zone 1 extension so this is the another uh, logic you can see if there's a fault in zone 1 the relay will send sig trip signal immediately at the remote end and if there is a fault in zone 2 it will send the trip signal also zone 3 timer will run it will give the tripping at local end so this is the example of again zone 1 extension and this is the logic that we have understand a fault f you can see a fault f in the end zone at end b in figure 12.1 so which is 12.1 a this is 12.1 a and this is the fault f result in operation of zone 1 relay so the b will trip in zone 1 that is required tripping of circuit breaker at end b circuit breaker will open as a request to trip is also sent to the relay at the end a so you can see it will send request to trip the relay at end a the receipt of signal at a initiate tripping immediately because the receive signal receive relay contact is connected directly to the trip relay the disadvantage of the scheme is the possibility of undesired tripping by accidental operation or mall operation of signal equipment or interface on the communication channel as result is not commonly used so this, these are some examples in which you have some variations in the scheme so this we have understood about zone 1 extension so i i hope that you you understand and enjoy this section thank you very much we move to the next topic